I drink non-alcohol beer, so I'm good. I'm happy because Qatar, uh, they're an advocate of non-alcohol beer. No, it doesn't change much for us. You know, as long as the vibe's there, the crowd's there, and we're cheering on the team, that's all that matters. If you can drink without going out of control, I think it's okay. Well, no, I'm good with it. I don't have a problem with that decision. I think, personally, if for three hours a day you cannot drink a beer, you will survive. It seems to become a big thing because it's a Muslim country, or I don't know why. We tried until the end to see whether it was possible. Well, back in Argentina, you're not allowed to drink in the stadiums themselves, so it's, it's fairly the same thing. Yes, we are a little bit sad because because in our country we we, we can drink beer, so we, we want to celebrate the Ecuador's winning. You know, we can get beer before and after the match, that's right. and that's what's important. You know, what we're there for, what's important is that we're cheering on the team. And for us, the difference in Costa Rica, don't sell alcohol in the stadium. I think it's a great compromise to have beer at the fan zones and not at the stadiums. A lot of people associate beer with parties, and so they're going to miss that part of it. It's okay, it doesn't kill the vibe. It's strange, yeah. Yeah, it is different, yeah. In some countries you're allowed to do that, but I think the vibe and the atmosphere is great, so that's what matters in the end. Yeah. But if you have to have beer to enjoy a, a football match, are you actually a football fan? I don't think so.